Now let's add some sculpted detail to the belt and the hip piece, and then we'll add some uh, other little bits here and there. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna hit Alt and click on the belt. Let's subdivide it a few times. And we can check the resolution of that. We'll do maybe one more time. I'm gonna turn off the visibility on the sashes, the sash, just so we can see things a little bit better. Let's go get our Debian standard brush, get kind of a big draw size, and I'm gonna turn on our symmetry. All right, and I wanna tie kind of the belt with the hip piece, but I don't wanna get so ornate that we go in the same direction as the, uh, the cowl piece. And so I just wanna have some sort of subtle raised carved kind of uh, shapes. And so I'm gonna turn on, make sure radius is set fairly high. So I don't wanna work this back in. So the first one, I'm gonna take my draw size down a little bit, take our draw size, I'm gonna do maybe 25 or 30. I'm gonna start at the top, kind of come down like that. And then I'm just gonna do two more. I want this one to be a little bit closer. And then maybe one right here. Can go back in with a low smoothing amount and smooth that back in. Let's alt click on the hit piece and I'm gonna subdivide this fairly high. And then I'm going to do kind of the same thing here. Let's check the resolution here. So I'm going to come in here and do something like that. And then something like that. And then one more all the way back around. Let's go ahead and hit smooth on that can see if it's a little bit jaggy, we go ahead and subdivide again and then smooth again. If you wanna get a little bit more definition to it, you can go around here with a negative, with a Z sub on, and you can make that line right in there. Kind of following along there. We'll do the same thing down here. Kind of got off a little bit there. Let's do solo. So something like that. If you want to add some detail on the back of here, you can do that as well. You know, so we could bring this up and around and do the same thing on the back. Smooth that back in. Now I want to add a little bit of detail on the jumpsuit. So let's go ahead and solo the jumpsuit. Let's leave the masking on. And what I want to do is define kind of some trim and, and, and areas where this is overlapping. So let's go ahead. I'm going to use Z sub pretty small draw size and come down from this edge and kind of come down here like that. All right. And then I'm going to do the same thing going up this way. Try to keep the same width and then turn the corner. I'm going to go all the way around. Go all the way around this side. All the way around that side. And then we're going to just hit right there. So it creates this sort of a robe kind of a look. And I want to do the same thing on the legs. I want to have some trim that comes up. And so I'm going to go ahead and draw this out and along the leg same thing here so that we can kind of define this as maybe a little bit of a shinier type of material versus the what i want to be kind of a velour this would be more of a satin or shiny look to it so something like that turn off solo let's go ahead and turn our sash back on and for the sash, go ahead and select it. I'm just gonna subdivide it a few times. And then right up here, I'm gonna kind of bring this down a little bit, show it's kind of bunching together. We can kind of create a little bit of wrinkling there. Same thing here. 
we get a smaller draw size so we're not shrinking in the edge too much. Something like that. Same thing down here. Okay, and I would make the edges or the uh, wrinkles a little bit more prominent where it's attached there. Then smooth it back out. Something like that. So once we've got some of that detail added, the next thing that I want to do is to go in and add the buckle. And to do the buckle, we're going to use a tool in ZBrush called the shadow box, which is a really cool method of creating based on the intersection of different kinds of masks. Uh, so it's a very unique workflow and good for certain types of pieces. And so we're going to use it for that. So we'll do that next. 